This is Corel's new Brush Pack Wilderness for the Particle Shop plugin for Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to quickly show you what the 15 brushes in this pack do. First, though, I want to mention the property bar up at the top here. So you can turn on and off with pressure, which I will usually do. You can set the size, you can set the opacity, you can set the number of particles. You can also pin or unpin the color, which you can access from here. I usually pin it so I can see it all the time, change the color as I want. Of course, there's undo here and then reset your canvas. So I'm painting on top of a layer that I've created in a Photoshop document. I'm going to start with bamboo. And this is just really kind of what you would expect. It paints kind of a forest of bamboo. If you change the color, of course, it will change the color of the forest. This should be noted that these packs are good for lots of different things and not just painting uh, the wilderness. You're really limited only by your imagination. So we'll reset the canvas back to blank and we'll move to Camp Smoke. Here, of course, you want to use a lighter color You'll start real light, go up, light pressure, and then as you go off, heavier pressure, and you get these very organic, nice shapes. When you're back in Photoshop, you can add a little bit of blur to them, and they look just like smoke. Reset the canvas, campfire, and in this case, you do want to turn on glow, and you start slow at the bottom, and as you go up, you press. And we're going to increase the opacity, so we'll go a little too much. That looks like forest fire, doesn't it? So we'll lower the size some. And start slow. And then go off. And you can get some kind of interesting flame type things happening there. The next brush is cloudy. And this is just a generally good brush to paint clouds with. Easy to use. The clouds come out nice. They're very random looking. Reset the canvas now and go to dirty. This will make dirty strokes. Depending on the size of your brush, the pressure and the opacity, you can build up some really random dirty looking surfaces. The next brush we'll show you here is forest. And this is more like a forest of evergreen trees, I would think. You start, and pressure will make them a little bigger. And you can build them so they, you know, look like they're coming at you in perspective. Really good for distant forests. You know, you could use these for grass. There are so many things you could use these brushes for. Clear this one off. The next one is lichen. And this is for a little bit more randomy pattern of maybe lichen or dirt or sand or it really limited only by your imagination. The name of the brush is just to suggest what it might have been thought of originally to create. If I hold it in one spot, it will kind of spit out a few extra particles here and there. Reset it. Lichen 2. This is a, a larger, more random version of uh, the first lichen brush. So you can see it makes larger particles. And if you hold it in place, you can get these very interesting buildups of heavier patterns here and there. Or you can paint fast with it and get smaller looking patterns. The next one is Milky Way. And of course, you can guess what this is for. Stars. And you can kind of tap it and hold it and build up heavier stars in the beginning. Or in the center of the galaxy, I should say. And fewer stars at the edges. The next one is Moss. Another kind of random-y, pattern-y kind of texture. Now, this is kind of a nice, thick, random one. 
And again, you're limited really only by your imagination. I'm not changing really much of the defaults of these brushes. I'm just going with what it comes with to show you. So I would encourage you to experiment with a lot of the settings up here. The next one is rubble. And this would be kind of rocks, dirt, whatever. I love to really watch the little chain thing just swing around a lot. And of course, depending on the color, opacity, all these things, you will get a different look and a feel. But that's the rubble brush. The next one is seawater. And this is kind of a brush for wave type structures you would find in a lake or ocean, something like that. The next one is shrubbery. This is similar to the forest brush, except that it is created so that you can see the individual leaves. There's some nice color variability here. Build bushes, whatever you want. Again, limited by your imagination. The next brush is Thicket. This is one of my favorites because it makes this really kind of random squirrely pattern that looks like maybe a grape thicket or something that would be very difficult to get through. Start small and you get a small stroke, press hard and you get these kind of large, strange, squirrely, curly Q shapes. And the last brush we have here is Waves. And this again is for ocean surface, but this is a little more for, a little more swing in the brush. It's a little more for the brushes, sorry, a little more for the waves as they get closer to you. So if you're getting up and you're painting some breakers on the sand, this would be a better brush to use than the seawater brush. It's actually kind of fun to watch the particles springing around, isn't it? Anyway, that is the new wilderness pack of brushes for the Particle Shop plug-in for Photoshop. And I hope you enjoy it, use it. Um, Use it with your imagination and you'll be able to accomplish some really interesting and great things.